welcome back to your guitar Mesh YouTube channel. All right, today we're going to continue on with the HX Storm or the Helix version 3.15 update. Okay, in the previous video, we released a praise and worship patch that was based off the new M model, the Ventox M model. Okay, and we coupled it with a new, the new uh, Shimmer Reverb, the Dynamic Plate Reverb, as well as the Criss Cross Delay. Okay, so in this video, we're going to kind of explore a little bit of the new Tessellator uh, Delay. Okay, it's uh, the tessellator is a is a uh, more detailed version of the ratchet delay, which is also a new thing, right? So if you find that the tessellator is too complicated, you can use the simpler one, which is the ratchet. Whereas in this video, uh, what I did was remove the shimmer uh, reverb, added in the tessellator reverb, and also added in a looper as well, so we can do some jamming uh, with this tessellator. Now this uh, tessellator, if I pronounce correctly, is a little bit like a sequencer, right? So it it kind of takes your signal and repeats it in, a, in an interesting way uh, based off the note value of your note sync 1, note sync 2. Okay, in, so in this patch, what I did was I set it to a quarter and a uh, 1 over 16. So I can kind of tap my, tap my tempo if I want to. Uh, but that is roughly, I think, uh, a good space. Okay, movement. All right, the, and then of course, we set the direction to a reverse. So because we wanted it to be a bit more... Uh, doesn't not so straight straightforward but more uh, not so uh, predictable if you put it that way okay boomerang off operation is normal if you don't want your your guitar signal to be heard you can do dry kill okay the rest is pretty much uh, quite standard all right FX level is depending how loud you want it to be so uh, let me just put it a bit softer for now okay so uh, let me just demo how the tessellator sounds and then I'll do a proper one with the looper at the end. Okay, so this is how the tessellator will sound. I'm going to play a try and I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so it's an example like this. backing track or like a pad right okay, easier to talk when it's off okay so I'm gonna use that like a little bit like a pad uh, keyboards pad kind of sound I'm gonna kick that into a looper and I'm gonna turn the tessellator off and then we're gonna have a jam and let's see how great this thing can sound okay so one more time
I thought it was a, actually a, a quite a quite a nice uh, backing track with the tessellator turned on at the same time uh, when you added some chords and some rhythmic movement actually you can create a very beautiful backing track all right so uh there were some things that happened just now right so when i was trying to so when i was trying to create a loop uh it's not as easy as it looks right uh you have to be very accurate with the timing of when the chords come in or when you step the pedal and stuff like that so you you saw that i had i had an error just now but it doesn't really matter uh you can undo the pre uh, the, the error track and redo it again okay then you can of course turn on and off effects on the fly to give you uh different tones and different sounds all right so what i did was the, on the first uh, iteration i kind of added in the genre and then after that i went to my bridge pickup i kick on the extra uh pcu uh PCFX TS808 mod plus the POC as well. The POC wasn't set to a very obvious level, but it just thickened the sound a little bit more. Okay, so uh, well, I'm I will put this patch on on our website as well. So if you want to go and have a go at it, uh, you can you can try it. All right, uh, it's definitely going to be quite fun. Okay, so if you do, do like this kind of video, do give us a good thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for the latest videos. Okay, take care. God bless. I'll see you real soon. Bye.